I'm Michael Hansen, and in the next two minutes, we're gonna talk about hard drives. We're gonna specifically take a look at their performance, we're gonna benchmark them, look at the cost per gig, and take a look at how well they stack up. We're gonna compare the 960 Evo in 500 gigabytes, as well as the 950 Pro, the 850 Pro in one terabyte and 256 gigs. We're also gonna go ahead and set them up with Windows storage and go ahead and see how they perform by themselves or in RAID 0. We're also gonna add to it the Western Digital Drives, who are, which are mirrored, and see how their performance stacks up. And we're gonna take a look at the cost per gigabyte. So stay tuned and check it out. So welcome back. Right now, I'm just getting the hard drives onto the sleds, dropping them into the PC using this uh, splitter, which helps, so I don't have to run another cable. Should have it set up in no time, and we'll go ahead and start the benchmarks. So let's go over the computer hardware for this benchmark. The PC that will benchmark the 960 Evo in 500 gigabytes is a Z270 platform with an Intel i7-7700K running 32 gigabytes of RAM. The CPU is overclocked to five gigahertz per core, and the memory is clocked at 3200 megahertz. The PC that will benchmark the Samsung Pro 950 is an X99 platform with an Intel i7-6950X running 128 gigabytes of RAM. The CPU is overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz per core and the memory is also clocked at 3200 megahertz. The X99 platform will also be used to benchmark the 850 Samsung Pro SSD drives and the Western Digital Black hard disk drives. To benchmark the hard drives, we'll be using Crystal Disk Mark version 5.21 for Windows 64 bit. This software is free, so you can also download it and see how your drives measure up. Windows 10 storage spaces will be used for disk management, except for the M2 drives, which utilize the Samsung NVMe drivers, and will also be serving as the primary operating system boot drive. So now let's take a look at the results, and let's see how they stack up. So I graphed the results in Excel. This tab is the one gigabyte sequential performance in read and write. Looking at the legend, the lighter red and green colors is performed with a single queue and thread, while the darker red and green colors is performed with a queue depth of 32 and one thread. So looking at the results, here's what I found surprising. The 960 Evo has a significant queue depth read performance over the 950 Pro. However, the 950 Pro edges the 960 in sequential read. Nevertheless, the 950 Pro is bested by the 960 Evo in both write speeds. And although not shown on these graphs, it has significantly better thermal properties. The most interesting thing I found about the one gigabyte sequential test is that the 850 Pro in a simple storage with two drives is about equal in performance with a single drive in standalone. Remember, this is using Windows storage spaces, not a dedicated RAID controller. I use Windows storage spaces as it will probably be used more commonly for its convenience now that it is included in Windows 8 release and higher. The results are accurate as I tested and recreated these pools multiple times as I found these results shocking. Keep in mind that the Samsung Pro drives are usually about equal in performance regardless of size and this can be seen with the 256 gigabyte versus the one terabyte drive. Now this is not always true with the Evo Samsung series. Finally, Moving on, let's look at the Western Digital Blacks. I believe they performed rather well in mirror format for large sequential read and writes. So now let's move on to the 4K random performance tab. Now these results are interesting. So let's first start with the Western Digital Black hard drives. They get clobbered in the small size random reads and writes. This makes sense as it is, this is a mechanical spinning drive and is also running in mirrored format. Now the interesting thing is, when looking at the M2 NVMe drives, one of the first things you notice is that the difference in performance between the SSD drives is not as great with smaller sized and random reads and writes. The Evo 860 edges out on top, but the 850 Pro with two simple drives is a very close performer. With the 32 cube depth, it even beats the performance of the 950 Pro M2 drive in terms of write speed and performs very closely within queue depth read and writes of 4K. So let's take a look at the cost per gigabyte graph. In this graph, higher is better. The vertical axis represents the gigabytes to be had for a single US dollar. The 950 Pro is the most costly per gigabyte with the 3.5 inch hard disk drives representing the best value. Keep in mind that I have these drives as mirrored 
and the price per gigabyte is about half if you were to run it in standalone in a simple storage. The Barracuda Pro drives in 6TB on this graph represents the best value. You will also notice that the two 850 Pros configured in a simple storage space is more costly than a single 850 Pro. The reason is that the performance is decreased the closer you move to the maximum storage space allowed. This reduces the file size available to strip the data. Using half the storage space improves the drive efficiency of about 10 to 15% compared to using near the maximum space of the two drives combined. I will post the supporting detail to the written blog site. So I hope you found this video informative. You can check out the blog for more details and the links below in the video description. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll soon be comparing the Barracuda Pro drives to the Western Digital Black. So I hope to see you again.